Hey everyone, Sky King here. Hello Daniel, hello Divine, hello Miss Toxic. It is good to see everyone. Honey, Skyland coffee mug, herbal tea. Let's get the ASMR. That is a cat. Want to try honey grit? I, this is um, Sleepy Time by, let me see. Who makes this? I want to say it is Celestial Seasonings. Celestial Seasonings, yes. Not to be confused with herbal essence, which is what I was originally going to call it. So I had to make sure I looked it up. It is not tea by herbal essence. Thank you, Grit, for messing up my microphone. Hey, get on your bed. Come on. Good Grit. He gets on his bed, and that's where he needs to be. Or else he'll just screw everything up on my desk. You're a good boy. So I've been configuring my buttons a little bit. Now I can mute the music. All right, and bring it back. Bam, makes me super happy. I can mute my mic. And now you can. So I'm very, I feel so like technologically advanced of this crap, with this crap. So with the wind helm coming up to a close. This is something that I see. Go away. Um, this is something I have a problem with every time I do a mod. But I have little like straggler textures, and I don't know where they go. So I'm gonna need some sleuths to help me find textures. Like, where's this used? Where's that used? And. I know a couple of these textures, like the doors and the wrought iron. Yeah, got it. But then there's a couple of them. I'm like, I have no clue where this goes. I've never seen this texture anywhere. I cannot find it. But maybe other people that are smarter than me do know where these are. So we'll probably go through a couple of these um, off camera, off stream. Over the past couple of days, I knocked out a bunch of textures. And it was just repetitive task type crap. It wasn't anything major or anything like that. Um, and I'll run you through what I've done and what we have yet to do. And seriously, we're looking at, like, just off the top of my head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 textures left. I think I actually have 14 or 15 because I deleted a couple of textures thinking that there were, they were only for the arena, but then when we went to the prison, there were two textures in the prison. And I'm like, oh. Um, a lot of these aren't gonna take a long time to do. I can knock out most of these tonight. The ones that will take a while to do are the doors. And that's why I put part one on this stream, because the doors, they take a bit. They take a bit. Um, and it depends on how detailed that I want to go with it. That's going to be the, that's going to be the question is how far do we want to go with the doors? Do we want to go like full 
custom or do we want to go full like vanilla and not have to think if we just go full vanilla it should be a lot easier to do um, so that's kind of where we're at right now so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through the game and show you how far we are and what I've done over the past few days and we'll see if we can I spy any textures that we're missing like I said I do know in the brig the jail whatever there's a couple of textures get my volume right over here for the my speakers in general are loud I sometimes forget how loud my speakers are because I'm so used to like mixing music and my speakers are very big they're probably I mean they're probably a foot and a half and like a foot and a half deep and about eight inches wide they're very big studio monitors so they can get loud with just a little bit of power so yeah if it's worth doing it's worth doing you're right Daniel so we're gonna go here into game scene and we're gonna get this loaded up mm, I love hot tea love me some hot tea I'm a coffee in the day and a tea at night kind of guy if any of that makes sense so here we are I have no fucking clue where oh there's a wind helm let's get rid of the fog so I can actually see where I am so where are we um in terms of completion we're really far let's do um set game hour to 10 and then fw 10a234 here we go so just kicking it off here our wood is done all the wood textures are pretty much done all of our stone is done the bridge is completely done I think we did that in a couple of streams, didn't we? We did the bridge in like two streams, I think. Or maybe just one stream, but I think we did it in two streams. The bridge was sucky, but it came out looking really, really great. Out here, we've gotten all of the carving stuff done, all of the pillars, all of the trims, and all of the eagle heads done. Uh, there's one eagle head that I would like to take another look at. Um, in fact, all of the eagle carvings are a bit too dark, so we need to brighten those up. In fact, let me do something real quick here. I like to keep notes of things instead of trying to remember it. I just do this with everything that I do. So I'm just going to open up my another notepad. Um, eagle carvings to dark. There we go. I can kind of remember these things. So inside here, again, the carvings and everything are done. Uh, the ground, let me get that done. Um, interior city... Um, ground stones don't look good with white um, border something like that the trims are done the interiors are done the doors are not done All of these wood textures, as you can see, the doors don't look good because they're not done. Um, everything else, that mapping on the roof is so bad. Um, so here you can see one of the eagle heads here, and it's just too dark. It just kind of sticks out too much, so I've got to fix this. It could be vector painted to where it's supposed to be darker like that. Kind of like how this, uh, the top of the frame is there. It's darker also. Uh, when I know that the texture is much lighter. 
moving up here, I finished these guys. So all of these plaques are now done. Um, all three of them, actually. It's just three. So one is... Two are repeated, one isn't. So they all look different. They all have different levels of... You know... They all have different aging on them, I guess you could say. And then over here. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything else that may need to be looked at that I've done. Let's take a look. Mm, we'll go this way. I did get these trim things done. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, one big thing that we got that I got knocked out was the 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 roof. So the roof is now all taken care of. No more of those weird glossy looking tiles anymore. We now have proper roofs. Didn't do the icicles considering that that's like. I could say that more of like a landscape thing, which I also didn't even do those in the landscape texture pack. I don't. I never did icicles, to be completely honest with you. I never really found them to be horrible. They just look like icicles. I don't think that I can. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I can improve on this. Um. I did the market stall roofs, market stall cloth overhang things whatever they're called I just used my wind my white run one and then just colored it to like a bluish kind of color like a blue green and that's it so yep again um, we did finish this in the last stream our wall which we'll talk about. I'm still in love with our wood textures. I, I just am in love with them. I don't know what is going on with those shadows. Very weird. Let's talk about the trim. I'm going to go into this area. So this trim here. This trim basically everything from here to the ground is the trim and it looked very different than the vanilla the vanilla had a little bit more bricks in it I kinda didn't like it because it didn't break up enough from what the wall was doing so I kind of made it more plaster brick and I felt like that was much cooler looking it looked more proper kinda like how buildings you see how it'll be this plaster down here and then stone up top. Mainly it's just protective against people walking by and stuff. They won't be messing with the stones up there. You know? Um, this also includes these plaques here. And here's some more trim. Like this centerpiece is the, a trim piece, actually. Also that collar up there and everything down there is also a part of that trim texture pack. And I just think it looks more like how it would probably look real world with the plaster on the bottom and the bricks on the top. I like that two-tone look. Also here around the columns, same thing. The vanilla was more brick, stone bricks and stuff. And I felt like um, the plaster was just a better... I just like the contrast a lot better. Here's more of it here at the top. So that's my artistic creative decision was to go this route instead um, after trying the more vanilla brick style I wasn't too much of a fan of it I just didn't like the way it looked it looked better than vanilla but I didn't like the. it didn't go along with the rest of the Skyland textures in my opinion and it was just too busy it just looks cooler yeah um, here's one texture I know that I've not done it's somewhere around here. I thought. Let me see. 
Well, there's a curvy stone texture somewhere around here. I could have sworn. And now I can't find it. Yes, the canopy. That's what I meant to say about the market stalls. The canopy. Well, now I can't see it. Uh, we also did these things here. They looked like wrought iron in the vanilla, but it was a stone. It was a very smooth stone texture, and I hated it. It looked very cartoony for vanilla. I'm also just... There's something about this JK that rubs me the wrong way. But that's not nothing. That's whatever. So the eagle heads, I think I would like to lighten up a little bit. And that's kind of my only complaint so far, is the eagle heads. Um, and this stone floor looks just a bit janky to me. So I think we're going to deal with that. The other thing that I'm failing to see or find is these mud puddles. Where the crap are these mud puddles at? Oops. Where are these mud puddles? Does anyone know? I need to find that texture because they look bad. Also, I want to know how to get snow off of this stone. Because that looks horrible. It's just on that stone right there. It's the same texture on the whole building, but right there on that corner that's bad and I know that people are going to leave comments about that so oh there's one there's an there's one of the the heads that I've redone it doesn't really look like I redid it but I did there it is but you're only gonna see them from the ground so I really don't care too much they look fine from the ground. I may redo them. Just because they do still look a little too cartoony. With the line work on it. So, but yeah, these mud puddles right here. I can't believe you made it, Mario. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else major. Pretty much, I just knocked out all the carving stuff using the same technique from the last stream of just um, desaturating the vanilla diffuse and setting it to multiply over my stone base just for the shadows and then adjusting levels to where it I am only blocked out the shadows. So here is one of those textures right there. You can see here on the trim see if I can get a little closer this trim here needs to be redone I'm not sure I think I know which texture this is but that's gonna be redone also you know it'd be really cool is having that as a plaster but plaster would actually wear off on the corners So yeah, and then the doors. After that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save here and show you what our folder looks like. So here's what our folder looks like. Anything that doesn't say PS are things that we have to do. Um, here, I'll even get rid of my camera real quick. So here you can kind of see. So each two here and here, like this is one texture. It's the diffuse and the normal. Diffuse and normal, diffuse and normal, diffuse and normal. So one texture, two, three, four, five. Six, here's this normal. Seven is seven is this one, this one, and this one. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then, like I said, there's a couple others that I'm sure. 
um, that I need to bust out. Now here, you see these two textures. The, this is just one texture. I only did the diffuse. I didn't do the normal because we couldn't find where this diffuse was. So I was like, I'm not going to do the normal if I can't find the diffuse. Same thing here. So this one, this one. Let me see. Uh, this one, this one. These textures, I can't find them anywhere in the game. I can't find them anywhere. And that's WH shingle 01, WH small or regular 01, WH retaining wall, and WH rough cap. I can't find those anywhere. Now, here's where it gets even trickier. Here is a normal map and a normal map. Here is four normal maps and I have no clue where they go because if you can see here like right here and here this and this they go together it's WH out brick and WH out brick normal so this is the normal map for this texture okay they go in pairs always in pairs in pairs okay here's a pair here's a pair here's a pair okay they move in pairs pair 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 um, pair, pair, door, door normal, trim, trim normal. Okay, they always move in pairs. But these normals have no diffuse. What the crap do they go on? Big single stone two, right? But all of my big single stones already have unless it's let's see let's look at this guy here's this texture and then I have this texture but I have no clue if that's what this goes to you know you just kind of like I have I don't know I I have no clue so because I have block singles to and I have big single stones to in. Does that mean that that's the normal map for that? I don't know. Um, flat in is just a flat normal, I believe. Yep, there you go. So that's not going to be touched. And then we have high frequency noise underscore in. No clue what this goes to. There's no alpha map. So it's obviously used for an effect. But the ones that bother me is another wall one underscore n and big block stone underscore n. Those two confuse me. They confuse me. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking too. But be so for that reason, I need to know what they go to so I can put that normal on those also, or else the the mesh will look janky wherever else it's used. That's going to be our issue. <sighs> um, and sometimes you'll, you'll find leftover files that they just didn't remove before releasing the game. Like there's unused textures in a lot of places. There's unused textures. Um, I know I did a trim sheet for white run, like an edge trim sheet, and two of the trims weren't used anywhere in white run. I couldn't find them anywhere. And in fact, I have, if we look here in Skyland AIO, textures, landscape, this texture here, this is a texture. Rocks edge trim 01. And this is how it is in the official mod. I've painted it bright yellow, and after four or five years, no one has ever have found it. Out of the millions of people that have used Skyland, no one's ever come back to me going, hey, what's this yellow texture? It's not used. It's packed with the game. It is a stone gravel edge texture, not in the game. So, no clue. No clue where that texture is. But there's a lot of that. 
there's a lot. So, the other textures here, I think we can bust out pretty easily. I just need to find where another wall one and big single stone two is. Um, after we get all of these knocked out, I'm going to copy and paste these over a vanilla folder of the vanilla wind helm textures and see if there's any outliers. Now, one things that some things that we're not going to be doing in this mod are banners, rugs, textiles like that, because I've never done those for any mod. And so many people use Ragnarok and other mods that do the rugs. I just have never done them before, and nobody's ever asked me to do them. Nobody's ever asked, does this cover rugs? Nope. Nobody's ever asked. So I just have never done them. Um... I did windows for farmhouses and I did the windows for white run. And then I, I also did the window for winter hold, the big windows for winter hold. And then in all of the screenshots around the internet that I saw of people showing off Skyland or on YouTube, all of them used rustic windows. So I was like, well, then why the fuck am I doing the windows and taking a day doing the freaking windows? And windows are hard to do. Why am I doing the windows if everybody's going to install a window mod? Then I'm just not going to do the freaking windows if nobody's going to see them. Ever. So I just stopped doing the windows. Now, there's not a lot of... There are door mods, but not a lot of people use them. So I do the doors. Um, and I enjoy doing the doors. As for everything else, um, well, as you can see, it's pretty much done. So let me get my camera back on so you can see my beautiful face. And now I just need to get mentally prepared for this. I took a nap earlier today, and I'm still kind of like... Waking up. The girlfriend is on the couch watching some show. She is crocheting. And that makes me happy. Because I will come in here and stream. I also have an affinity for honey. Hello, Ringo. I freaking love honey. Here you go. Here's your noise normal again. I'll blow it up for you. It's your standard issue noise normal. I think it's like 128 by 128. Let me see. 256 by 256. Mmm. Honey. Honey is the best. Honey and preserves. Those are like two of my favorite things. Honey, preserves, and butter on a biscuit and not like one of those English biscuits like a southern biscuit I'm hard pressed to think of anything that's like much better than that why would they have this um uh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know like Honey and peanut butter. Yeah, that would be pretty good. It sounds Yankee. It sounds like something a Yankee would do, but I would try it. Um, It could be a distant noise map. A distant noise um, normal map, possibly. 
uh, it could be for the snow. I don't know what it's for. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to touch it. Usually, I, I kind of leave those alone. Um, that's come back to bite me because I've had, like, I left the vanilla landscape noise map in there and people were like, does this have a custom noise map? I'm like, what kind of fucking question is that? No, why would you want one? But apparently people think it makes their games revolutionary. Um, so... Possibly, but the noise, the normal doesn't really look like that on the water. It has more ripples in it. But we will get to the water. I think for right now, we need to dive in. And I'm going to bust out what I consider the easy textures first. And just get these knocked out. Uh, 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 uh. Bloom, bloom. I think that's an easy, kind of an easy one. Let's just get these done. I should be able to knock these out pretty quick. Cool. So window decal, all the way over here. Cool, in order, wow. Yeah, we'll do the doors. So here we, obviously know what I'm going to do here. This is way too noisy and grainy to do as a overlay like we've done before. So I'm not going to do that. Period. In fact, let's do this a little bit differently. Let's zoom in here. And I'm just going to take this and just run this right across here. And we'll just create ourselves a little height map. Pretty simple. So I'm just drawing a dark charcoal gray line and loosely following what we have here. You know. Not going too in-depth, but depth enough and this is actually going on a mesh so all of these highlights and stuff that we see all of these highlights and things that we see um, are important um, so are all of the edges and cracks and stuff because like I said it is following a mesh if it doesn't follow a mesh, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Like a ground texture or something. Um, but since this is following a mesh, you have to follow it because it's following the corners and edges of the mesh itself. And then if you don't, and you just willy-nilly throw up a stone texture on it or something, it's going to end up kind of breaking the illusion of highlight and shadow and you'll have highlights on the side of a box or something where it should be on the corners or you just won't have any highlights at all and then it'll look flat and one dimensional and nobody really wants that so don't be lazy also good news we have um, I have been in touch with the marketing director of a certain texture company and we are ready to move forward with some awesome subscription based um, texture tutorials 
their website. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I think hopefully you guys will really like it. Let's get this in on here. I'm going to throw this down. And I'm going to blur this up just a little bit here. Blur Gaussian Blur. Let's round that down to about five. And we'll go ahead and save that as a copy. This is good enough for me for a height map here. And we're just going to WHA trim. Cool. Nice. So that's this texture here. And then this is our blocks. With this, what I'm going to do is something a little bit different. I'm going to... Let's do uh, I'm not sure how the texture program handles these things. Hey, Gina. I did make a, a weapon mod that's in there somewhere in the videos. I think maybe I might have put it on private. I'm not sure. Let me see. So here. Okay. I'll get to this one. Just because it's an odd size. This I'm going to use. I have another texture for this already made. This I'm going to look at my... I got to get a metal, my metal texture back out again. Same for that. Then we have this guy. And again, this is kind of loosey goosey on how you want to do this. Okay. Um, this is, these are just decals basically, right? They just kind of slap these on the side of buildings where you can't get to. So it looks like from a distance windows. So, like I said, it's kind of loose interpretation of how you would like to do this. Now, you could go and trace out each one of these stones and make a displacement map for it, um, or not. It's completely up to you. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try an experiment here, because I usually do kind of copy it, but this time I don't think I'm going to. What is going on here with this? Let me get rid of that. Let's do this instead. Some Something is going on with Photoshop and it's just acting really wanky and wonky and I'm not a big fan of whatever it's trying to pull. I'm gonna be really honest with you. But it's just messing up. I don't think it's happy that I've switched to AMD. I really don't. I think it's upset with me. Because ever since I have, it's been wigging out. Oops, I meant to do minus. See, like these lines, they just stay, even though I'm not selected on it anymore. And I can come back and they're gone. So it's just, it's crap like that, that it's been. I don't know what's going on with it. And I can try and turn on, I can go to edit preferences, general. Um, performance, use NVIDIA, graphics processor. Um, I can say I want to use 50% of my, right? Okay. And then I can hit okay here. Right. So now it's using my GPU and it will, it will jack up. I promise. 
So, and then here is our alpha maps for this. And that's what makes these decals. Um, again, I'm not going to follow this. I'm not going to follow this, I don't think. We're going to try something else in Megascans. So, now that that's been done, I'm going to take this and this. Well, well, now it just doesn't want to. Come on. Okay. A five. So here we have this, and I'm going to do a drop shadow. So it kind of looks like it's beveled down a little bit. Right, so it kind of looks like it's sinking into the canvas here. And I'm just going to say OK. And we're going to save that out as a copy. Desktop, JPEG. And that's window decal. OK. Minimize all that. Yeah, honestly, like, Adobe has been since they got everybody by the balls that they know they have to use Photoshop and Adobe products that they just kind of, you know, development's kind of gone downhill. They used to like every new Photoshop, it was like they were inventing something new and bringing something new to the table that revolutionized the industry. And now it's like they're resting on their laurels and just going in for the money and not really doing anything new at all half the stuff in Photoshop doesn't work so it's just really really annoying really annoying so this is our stone here and that is a plaster and this is a stone texture Let's do this and let's blur these out a touch. We'll go one more down like that. I might actually take that off and let's get another, like a real stone or rock texture, I mean. This I'm going to hide. There we go. And let's desaturate that a good wee bit. About to here. I might even try and darken this up just a touch. Let's swap these out. I'm going to make that the lighter one and this the darker one. And just kind of fill in the cracks here with this guy like that and let's pull this back a number let's not do that there we go so that is about what I'm looking for and this is called W H H M. I'm going to lowercase that. So if you see what we've done, just to kind of go over this real quick in case you wanted to do this yourself, these dark lines what we've done is we've created something called a displacement map and it displaces the mesh quite literally so if I look here on the edges if I was to boost this up to say like 20 you can literally see it, displace, it displaces the mesh with these dark lines that we've done here in Photoshop and what I did to follow that was I just followed these dark lines, all these dark lines that we see throughout here. Okay, I trace those. So gray is like, don't touch it, it's just flat. Black means it 
carves in, and white means it juts up. So when I applied that to this mesh here, it deformed it. And what's going to happen is I have this dark texture here, and I have it set to wrap to the mesh, like follow what the mesh is doing. If I don't have that, and I turn this on, it just it doesn't do anything, right? It's not affected by the mesh. But when I say wrap to it, you can now see it's wrapping to the it's wrapping the texture's wrapping to it. And the reason I've done that is so now I can just fill these cracks in, like so, because I want them to be shaded. This guy is our base, and this is our basically our stolen texture. So I'm going to turn the cracks off and just kind of cover this up here. And now we can bring in our shading here, which is that. And now if we look at the albedo, you can kind of see the dark lines from that shading texture. And that's all we really wanted to happen. Simple as that. Now it just looks like an old stone. So now that's that's my whole technique on doing the using the a painted displacement map. Very, very simple, easy peasy. Um, nothing really to get too excited about. But it's very simple and effective. For me, I believe it's very simple and effective. And it's quick. And it looks good for Skyrim. I wouldn't do this with a modern engine or a modern video game. There's a shit ton better ways of doing it. Um, but for something as janky as Skyrim or as old as Skyrim and the antiquated ways of doing textures using modern techniques and modern tools, this is how I do it. And it gets fine results. No one says anything about it. Works perfectly fine. Anybody can do this. All you have to do is just kind of start doing it and you'll start picking things up. Now, if I really wanted to go in depth, I would do a third layer because you kind of need three layers to textures. You need your mids, your lows, and your highs. So this is our lows, the shadows. Your mids is right here. And now you need highlights on all of these edges, right? You need to kind of bring something up into it. So you could do something like this texture here and see if you could blend it from like above and hit just the high tops, right? Like that. And that's just hitting the high peaks. You could even put a filter on it to do just the edges if you wanted. Um, which I believe if I look here under my smart materials and type in edge, it should come up with something. Let's do all types and just type in edge. Nope. Where? Can I not do smart materials, please? I could have sworn I had something. Uh, let me just look at this real quick here. So we have something like this. It's just, this comes with something called smart materials, which kind of reads the room on how to do stuff. And you can open up the folder and turn things on and off like the moss, right? But what I was hoping to find was like something like this, like edge shading and it doesn't give me too much of it but it has all of these kind of like filters here to the side where you can control like the edge and all of these things like it just kind of finds the edges and stuff like that um, so if I take up like let's do projection and edge control I want to see if this will work so let's do a mask stack. We're going to add a projection. And then we're going to add 
What are you gonna are you gonna give it to me? Where is the uh, uh, uh. Is it curvature? Yes. So you basically just tighten everything up and just kind of have it find the edges and so forth, right? So that's basically how you do that was with, ma with your mask stacks. Delete that. So, but this is what I want here. And that's already saved out, but I'll save it one more time. And now let's get, pull the other diffuse in. Since this is already saved as such, I'll use the same setting for just the different, this guy here. So this is the Windows win, and the Windows win is a little bit different. Firstly, let's get rid of this mask, and let's get on with this guy. So we can use something like this, and I'm gonna put this over it. With our stone here, I'm going to do a couple more repeats on it. Just make the stones a little tighter. This should be fun. And then for the background, I'm just going to pop in some of this right here, some of this lichen, like that. Okay, so now we can kind of see what's happening here. Now, with this, I'm going to add a paint layer to our stucco. And we can do a couple different things. We can just kind of blur it out along these like this. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just kind of go around up to where like the edges of the stone are just a little worn. Oops. I always do that. I'm so used to holding the space bar to move. Like that. I'm always doing that. So I'm just kind of fading out but I don't want it too uniform. Just like it was once plastered, but now it's not. That's what we want. That look, if that makes any sense. To me, it makes sense. But like with a town or a city, shall I say, like Windhelm, you want it to see, you want to see like all of their history. You want to see all of it, not just um, currently. You want to see like some past remnants, past remnants of things. And so this right here kind of for me does that. So now you can definitely see like where the plaster's coming in, right? Okay, and now I think what I will do, we can try this. I think we might do it better in Photoshop, but I'm gonna try it here. And what we're going to do is cut out the stones, basically is what we're gonna do. And this should be pretty easy but don't quote me on that. I might go with a soft brush. I'm gonna be honest with you. I might just go with a soft brush here. And so at this point, we're just chopping out the stones that we want to keep. And what's good about doing it in here is that we're 
basically generating all of our maps to use this too. So I don't actually have to cut out the normal map too. This will create a proper normal map for us and everything doing it in here. But this will look a lot more legit than that cartoon looking map from Vanilla, which is Clutch. And it will blend a lot better with the textures that are already there. And I'm kind of limiting myself to one row of stone outside the window. So let's just do this outline, actually, instead of having just to block the whole thing. All right. I think we'll keep this guy. Which stones are the right answer? Whatever ones you want. There's, there's no right answer. I'm going to be honest with you. It's whatever you want. Well, don't be too literal. Just as long as it looks good, then you're right. It reminds me of like when producing music or when mixing music. Everyone's like, how do you know when the bass is loud enough? Or how do you know when the drums are loud enough? Or how do you know when, when this is good? Or when the vocals sound good? And honestly, the answer is when it fucking sounds good. When it sounds good to you, you're the judge. If nobody else is the judge. If you think it sounds good, then it's good. If you come back a year later and you go, that doesn't sound good for this reason and that reason, okay. You've, you know, you've either changed or you've gotten better or, you know, your tastes are different now. There are textures that I've made in Skyland where I'm like, oh man, what was I thinking? That I used to think that looked so good. And to some people, it still did look good. But I had changed to the point where it wasn't my style anymore. And hence, we have updated Skylands. Which is a big headache. Because I've got to come back in t to do it again. But I just, you know, so I felt like Skyland was just getting a little bit long in the tooth. And it wasn't holding its own anymore. Now, I'm not saying that I had anything to do with this, right? I'm not, I'm not going to say that at all. But, but... Before Skyland, people were still doing like the Google search image and then running it through Crazy Bump and being like, texture mods done. And then like, I did mega scans and then everybody did mega scans and like PBR textures after Skyland. I was like, uh huh funny or they would just go to textures.com and just download a picture and I just thought that that was kind of funny uh oh what did I do hello did I just fuck up massively I think I just fucked up after all of that. So, anyway, that was that was kind of my thing about this. I'm actually going to tighten this up one more time. Because I was running out of stones on the left here. Um, so, yeah. I just found that was... I just thought that was interesting. Again, I'm not saying that I had anything to do with that. But I was definitely, I believe, one of the first... And now it's like I can spot like a mega scan texture from a mile away because there's still some people that use it and they don't do any of this. They'll just pick like a stone texture and hit export and then just throw it in and they'll be like, it's done. Which I think is kind of funny. I 
like leave some of the grout in there. Right? Or is that just me? I'm actually going to turn this off and this off so I can actually see the stone. Right? There we go. Working it. This is so much easier now. Cool. So that's going to be our frame around it. And then same thing down here. Just kind of work it around that one row outside of the windows. And all of this extra work will be worth it when we get into game. I promise. Because it looks very random. Now we just need to fill in all the gaps, which we can do kind of easily here. Just want to get some of these tight crevices taken care of here. Uh, we should probably do this window too, huh? So I've decided once all of the Skyland textures are done, that should be around the time Starfield comes out, which is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to seeing the new engine. But that also marks another special occasion, and I'm going to be starting the Sky King OnlyFans, where I will be putting on strip shows for everyone but only lingerie no nudity I have my dignity so get ready save your dollars because it's coming That's right. Skyland only fans. And there will be a special channel set up in the Discord for only fan members. I will have membership tiers starting at $20 a month. And it's just going to be me making textures in my boxers and talking. That's it. Just me and my boxers making textures for Starfield. I can't believe nobody's even said anything about that yet. <laughs> of course Vixie's the first one to say something.
You know, I've noticed we've had a huge decrease in Russian bots. Like the past few weeks, not too many Russian bots in here. It makes me wonder what's going on. Like, I feel like I'm not doing my job if the Russian bots aren't attacking me. Was that bad? Like, I feel like I'm just not worthy. And then I feel sad. I'm like, why? Why don't you want to? Why not? Am I not good enough anymore? I guess I'm just not popular enough for the the Russian bots. tighten up some of these lines, I think. There we go. I'm actually going to raise this up real quick. Yeah, they've all been drafted. I was watching my friend stream today, and he was getting them, and it kind of made me a little jealous. That's what made me remember it. I was like, huh, it's been a while since I've had Russian bots. And I got sad. I missed them. crap. Oops. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Really? That's what undo does? Really? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, stupid fucking program. In fact, we're going to do it this way now. I'm not, I'm tired of being like the nice guy. Bam. Give me that. Come here. 2D. Come here. I'll fucking do it in Photoshop. We'll do it in post. Nah, that's too big. Too big. Needs to be like five. Jesus.
Okay. One done. Touch smaller. Do it for that one. And then here, I'm just going to take it down here. because the alpha maps don't care. They don't see anything else. I was just trying to create my own alpha maps, but whatever. I'll just hand paint them. And let's go around that one. I guess I'm going to need some testers for for Windhelm, if anyone's interested. If you have a PC, you have to have a PC. FYI. Because I'm not uploading this shit to fucking Bethesda. For testing purposes. Sorry, but I'm not. All right, that's done. I'm gonna get rid of that, don't like it. Okay. And then let's export this. What is this called, real quick? It's called Window Decal it's Original. Let's jump into Photoshop. Let's see about this. this and now I'm just going to take this and this Make sure we don't get anything on the outside. Just want what's in the white line. Go. 
awesome. And then this is just going to be that with one under it. That's going to be this. Go away. Convert. Rasterize. Copy. Paste. Filter. Select. Um, uh, Gaussian blur. And then here, I'm going to take this and just multiply it on that. Let's raise this up just a touch. I feel like that might be a wee bit dark. I'm actually going to pull this back. There we go. And you know what I might actually do? We're going to do one of these numbers. Oh. I didn't want to do it. There it is. We're going to do a chroma key. And then I'm going to do So let's do actually let's do this. Let's go bam bam bam. I'm trying to get just the perfect cutout to be honest with you. That's all I'm trying to do here. Um, bam bam. And then here let's do select color range. Bam, bam, thank you. And then here, I'm just going to hit this. Well, didn't want to do it. There we go. Okay. And now I can do a color overlay of white with a background of black. That's actually going to be our alpha map. That's it right there. Oh, let's do, can I back this up real quick? I do want this, but I want the color overlay to be white, white. Thank you, not gray. Now, there's our alpha map. Convert smart object and rasterize. Yep, yep, yep. And here it goes in here. And then filter Gaussian blur. And then goodbye, goodbye. And now that those are out of the way. Oops, wrong folder. This folder. Now I can do this guy. Multiply. I'm going to pull it back just a hair. And that's going to be that. Save color and alpha. Yes, thank you. And then in here is just this. But I'm going to make that a little bit bigger here. I'm going to do 1024 on this guy. Even though you really can't get to these things and they're super far away, I'm just going to do it proper like. Okay. Green. Invert. Bam, bam. Also in here, I think something I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in here. And I'm going to do a filter Gaussian blur on that. just so it does it. So it looks kind of like Windows happening here. Cool. Now, last one is this guy. And this is called Atrem. So WH Atrem. Here it is. Rasterize. Bam, bam. Thank you. Mm, again, it's a bit dark. What's going on? Okay, no alpha map. So just color fine and linear. And then I'm going to layer flatten image. Copy that. It should I'm gonna put give it an alpha anyway. Oops, nope. Because 
I feel like it needs it. And I think I'm going to use this as an overlay on my normal here. So I can get some of those bumps out of it. Make it look a little more blocky. Like that. And then here, I'm going to pop this bad boy. Well, let's do it in here. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I see what I've done. Since this was zoomed in, it didn't do it properly here. Now it's done properly. Make sure you're zoomed out so you can see the whole image. Or else it won't center up the texture when you drop them in. FYI. Because Photoshop's an idiot. Sometimes Photoshop is just a moron. Uh, let me see this real quick. This needs to be inverted. It's like that doesn't look right. Yes. Alpha, fine and linear. Now, something interesting here. Not all of the normal maps in Windhelm have an al have an alpha. Like, a lot of the normal maps don't have alpha maps. And what's happened is, is they're super glossy and shiny looking because of it. Because I think it auto-inserts a white one, even though it had none. Anyway, maybe the mesh needs an alpha map. Anyway, like, the roofs were, like, super glossy and shiny. I put an alpha map on the normal, and they got matte looking, and they look natural and normal now. So, don't be afraid to just throw in an alpha, even if the vanilla doesn't have one, just to see what happens. Let's go check out the windows. I hope this works after all of that work that we did, because that was shitty. Mega scans kept dropping the ball every time I tried to undo, and it would just reset the whole thing. Upsets me. So those two were the worst textures, I think, to do tonight. Got them out of the way. Just get them out of the way. Not grit. Where are these damn windows at? Because I want to see them. Oh. N nope. Uh. Here's one of them. No. Nope. I wonder if they're from the outside of the gate. They probably are. Oh, no. Alright, so I've got to tighten up that alpha map a little bit and just bring it a touch in. But you can kind of see what I was doing, right? You can see what I was working on there. You can see what I was shaking. Um, can you even... Like, from ground level... Surely that must must be from for seeing it from the outside because you can't see those from ground level. Let's go check it out. Okay, yeah. So here we go. There. There. You see how that's just got to be brought in? The alpha map just got to be shrunk a wee bit. And that should be it. Darken them up a little bit. But they'll be good. Yep, 
Okay. Easy peasy. Use the selection tool, hit modify, constrict, 10 pixels maybe. All right. Um, as for those blocks that we did, I have no fucking clue where those are. No clue. I mean, everything looked like it already had a freaking texture on it. Like, for instance, this texture here is only right here that we could find it. I have no clue where else this texture is. I have no clue of any other places in Skyrim that use Windhelm textures without a mod like JK's. Like, using Windhelm assets in other towns. I have no freaking clue where any of these textures are used elsewhere in the game besides this city. As opposed to Whiterun, where Whiterun textures are used in a lot of different places. And I would suspect it's the same for Windhelm because it would be like the snowy architecture set for other places around, like in caves and dungeons and shit. I've not found any. Now, my exploring has not been extensive as other players, but I've played it long enough to I would have noticed, but I've not found any. But if you guys can enlighten me, let me freaking know. Because I feel like some of these textures might be used like in dungeons or caves that we're not seeing here in the city. But I could be completely flipping wrong. Any thoughts on the new Batman? I've not. I know nothing about the new Batman. I've not heard of it. Seen a trailer. I know nothing. I know the guy from Twilight's in it. So, maybe he sparkles or something. I don't know what the difference is going to be. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of those block textures anywhere. Okay, let's move on. I'm guessing that we can just go ahead and move on. There's something about this texture. I've not... It just looks too generic and too vanilla. I'm not 100% happy with it, I don't believe. Yeah, I'm not happy with it. Uh, no, this one. Um, one other thing. Um, yeah, the eagle heads and the carving, some of them are just not too good enough for me. Like this whole arch thing here is going to be redone. I'm not happy with that. Um, the eagle head at the end of houses is a bit too car cartoony in the carving. The other ones are a little too darky dark. Um, those can all be cleaned up and I'm gonna do those when we're done with all the textures. When I look at the vanilla stuff again. Cause I like to get done with the mod and then be like, okay, what needs to be fixed? 
there's usually four or five textures that need to just be quickly touched up or redone, which isn't too bad. Right now, I want to get this metal done. So I'm gonna get, I'm guessing this is good enough. I can find it. These, let's get this guy. Actually, what am I looking at here? This guy? Okay. So we're gonna do select color range. And I'm gonna do a select modify contract by 10. Select inverse and delete. Oops. Let's do that again. Sorry. That, let's do something here for this guy. Ooh, that's not good. Delete. Um, how can I tackle this? Let's do select color range this. Actually, that's not what we did it in this order here. We did bam, bam, oops, bam, bam. And then I'll do select color range. No. What did I do? How did I do this? Oh, I remember now. Okay. There's a process. Right? Like that. That should work. Let's do... I'm going to duplicate this real quick. Just so I have it on hand. And I'm going to do... I want... Select inverse. And let's delete that too. Select inverse. And what I'm wanting is like... What? I want everything inside here, please. Bastard. How can I make this tighter? Fuck it. I'll just do it this way. Give me this. Let's go around it. And let's do select modify contract by 15 oops select inverse modify contract by 15 select inverse and shift f5 and now select filter gaussian blur copy and paste blah 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 bam okay now it should work instead of just remaking it we'll just do it that way i'm going to keep that open just in case we need to redo it again this, I'm pretty much... Why didn't it say with the alpha map? Layer flatten image. Yep. Oops. Control C. Back it up. Come into here. Boom, boom. And let's do some levels on it real quick. We'll do that. That's fine. Actually, in here. Let's just take this black and just kind of roughly filled. Oops, no, I'm not going to do that. Save. Color and alpha. And good. Now we have the metal work. Here's that brick texture, which I'm going to... Um, I have another texture for that. These blocks here we're going to do last. But here we have this metal and this metal. And then I also have this metal. Very easy metal 
to deal with. Let's put these at the end. Okay. Let me see if I still have this. Can't promise that I do, but let me see if I still have my metal texture. Nope, don't still have it. Had a really good. I don't need this. Um, I used to have a really good rusted metal texture, and now I don't have it anymore. So I think I'm gonna have to go and find it. Had it it's on my text on my cloud here. I think this is it. Let me get my password in. Da, 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 da. That's it. Save it and gone. Open. Where is it at? Yeah, here we go. Sky King Rusted Metal. So, basically, with the most of the time with the rusted metal stuff, you don't need it to step and repeat because it's just a chop out. It's just cutting it out. So. It, it's, it's not, you know, like it's stepping and repeating. So what I'm going to D is, actually, we're gonna give it a little bit more room. Little room to breathe. I don't like cutting things all the way to the line because sometimes you'll get little halo rings of where you messed up or you cut it too close and you're getting some of the background in there. So I try not to get too close to the line, but close enough to where I can still do bevel effects and stuff like that. In fact, I'm going to do it right to here also, just like that. Mm -mm -mm. Awesome. Now I can turn this on and go bink, bink. And now we have our metal chopped out for it. And it looks like we have like a stone base up here, which I'll just copy and paste from my, uh, well, actually my stone, my white run stone, my wind helm stone base that I will use. Now here, I think, What I'm going to do is take this and just kind of, let's get this a little bit smaller. Let's do like seven. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw these in here. A lot of these kind of like shadow lines. I'm just gonna do it by hand. Again, they don't have to be perfect because they're not really modeled, but they will probably be somewhat modeled on the mesh. So it's good to have them somewhat close to the original. But we'll also be using um, the vanilla normal as an overlay on our new normal. So it doesn't have to be too, too grand. But we're going to paint this out, and then we're going to 
do um, run it through materialize to pump out a quick normal for our new um, rust and so we might as well just go ahead and throw in some of these here and then for the stone texture I will just block that in later I'm also going to use this line that I'm drawing here I'm also going to use them for a shadow map I'm going to blur them and then set it to multiply so and then of course we're back to the hatch marks so we're just gonna quickly paint these in very simply sometimes it's hard to draw with a mouse but I've gotten a little bit better at it and since it's like rough carvings I don't feel too bad if I mess it up I feel like these hatch this hatch mark design which is all over Skyrim was like the artist just drawing like in shading with a pencil and was like you know it's just it's just shaded and then the texture artist just took it literally as like that was the design on the stones and just made that the design that's what I feel happened All right. Now that that is done, we can turn this on. What if you get a graphic tablet to draw? I do have a graphic tablet. That's my second monitor that I'm looking down at the bottom. And I have a, well, ah, and I have a pencil and everything like that. I just, if I'm getting down and dirty, I pull it out and like if I'm doing like concept art or artwork in general or something, I will whip it out. But it's a setup process and it's hard for me to turn off my stream down here because this is like my this is where I'm like looking at my chat and my stream and all of that stuff is down here on the on my drawing tablet. I use it as my second monitor. So that's <laughs> that's that. This right here, I don't know what this is at the bottom. I have no clue what that is. So I think it's metal. So I'm just gonna just do that. I'm just gonna make it metal because I have no fucking clue. And then this, I'm going to not do that. We're gonna do our curves instead. I'm just gonna kind of just bring it down a wee bit here. that and let's do color balance on it and let's pull out a little bit of that red I actually want to get rid of the orange orange and like that make it a little more dull and now I'll do some levels to this that and maybe one more hue and saturation let's make it a little less saturated but keep that sharpness and then I need to do that down here too so let's just kind of pull that down just a hair and then color balance bang 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 something like that hue and saturation None of that bullshit, just that. Um, levels tighten, like that. And then one more hue and saturation. There we go, now they're even. And now I can put them into one, rasterize. Cool, so now I'm gonna do a save as a copy to the desktop.
as a JPEG. And we're going to open up File Explorer, Games, Skyrim Programs, Materialize, Materialize. So Materialize is a free program. I don't suggest using it unless it's an emergency. I'm, in my case, I don't, to make these like traditional graphics, like I don't have a program to spit out normal maps and stuff, so I just use this, and it's a great program for that. Um, basically how it works is you just take your image. So here's our image, and we can create a height map, and I'll just say uh, details, um, default set as height and now we can create a normal map off of that which is right here and I'm gonna do you can do crisp if you want it crispy smooth default is usually pretty good I'm just gonna raise up some of these things a, a good bit here just to get a little more crispy out of it and that's fine so now we can set it as the normal, and then we hit save, and I will double click that. And now back into Photoshop. So this can be like, you know, whatever. I will take those out, I will duplicate that, and I'm going to blur them, set them to multiply, and just kind of pull them back a little bit here. So I'm not too 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 worried about it. And then here's the normal. And we're gonna open up our normal. Which is right here. Okay. Which is perfect. And I'm gonna hit uh, rasterize, sorry. I'm gonna put this above it and set it to overlay. And yes, it does have an alpha. So we're just going to layer flatten image. Okay, copy back out so we get all of our layers back. Come into here. Oh, let's go into here. Transform scale. And just kind of make it the same size, shall we? Desaturate, set the levels. And then we can save that out with an alpha. And then we can save this out just as a color. Now I didn't do the stone yet because I want to test it. There we go. Super simple. And now let's jump into game and check those out and check out our windows. Make sure our windows have um, the proper alpha map on them so it's not showing that white border. And I think these eagles, these, um, whatever they are, I, I call them eagles. They could be little owls, but I think they're eagles. Let's see what they look like. Might have to paint some highlights on them. <clears throat> My cat is passed out. He's just passed out right now. He's so cute. I know you all love the cats. Let's see. Say hi, Bubba. Eh. What is it? What is it, Bubba? Oh, I love you too. He loves me. Oops. He loves me so much. All right. Let's find those stupid owls. Here they are. I call them owls again. They're eagles. Yep. I can pull those shadows back just a touch. But, uh... Maybe paint some highlights on them. But 
mean, it's not really bad. It just kind of looks like the shadows were drawn on them, doesn't it? <laughs> so not awesome on the shadows. But the texture is nice, and it blends them with the stone really, really, really well. Let me change my thing over. So here we go. Hawks, thank you. So again, it kind of looks like the shadows are drawn in. Here we go. Better view. Need some highlights. It's not bad. And I like the way it blends in with the stone. Right? Now let me get my TFC open here. Okay, so that's what that cutout stone was. was right there for that. And then... Yeah, I have no clue where the, the stone texture was coming into play. I don't see it anywhere. I think we can slut these up a little bit, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to slut it up just a touch. Because I think we can do better. But it's not bad. Better than that bright green bullshit, whatever the fuck that is. Right? Well, thank you, Mario. Yeah, those are a lot better. Cool. Yeah, these, these things up here I redid, but I don't like the carvings on them because it just looks too cartoony. Right? And then what I was saying over here about this arch, it just looks too vanilla-y for me. Too vanilla. So we're going to have to take a gander at that. And it's really dark. Compared to the stone around it, it's really dark. You can see here the difference in, in, in hues here. And I don't want that. See how dark that eagle head is compared to the stone next to it? So I'm not having that. And the alpha map is really bright and glossy, isn't it? Is that just me? That just looks really bad. I know I redid these textures. Why does it look so bad? So Skyland on the left and supposedly Skyland on the right, and that's not correct. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a look at that, because something's wrong with it. But that looks really good. That looks cool as shit. I love this section, because that just looks so good. To me, I think that looks really good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So we need to slut the eagles up. Hawks, eagles, owls. And we're going to. One thing I wanted to look at and just try and see if it works. Let's turn off this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think that's a good compromise. If 
for the sledding up of the eagles. I think that should be okay. And in here, I'm going to keep that as it is, to be honest with you. Okay. And then in here, we'll redo this guy and then this guy. So we just need to basically do exactly what we just did. But, yeah, let me get this in here. What I should do is just make that texture in general and not have to worry about doing this over and over again. That's just me. I think something like that should work. I think that should work. Let's take this out. Let's do a copy, save as a copy. So I can use this on both of them. Um, let's do a rust um, square. Coo, coo, coo. Let's get this. Let's open rust square. And then create, set, create set, save, rust square normal. Cool. So that's that, which I can then save with an alpha map, fine and linear, bam, bam, bam. And then in here, we're just gonna take our rust square, which is this guy, rasterize, put that on the bottom and set this to overlay. And let's do a layer flatten image. Copy. Hello, select all. Copy. And then in here, I'm going to paste that bad boy. Scale it down. This doesn't need to really be 2K, to be honest with you. And do this. And just pull it back down a wee bit. Set that here, save it with an alpha. Fences are done. This guy, I'm gonna take this rust, come into here, do this, this and set to overlay. And then let's work our levels a little bit here. Like that. Cool. And then save this out as a color, fine and linear. And then here, say OK. Take our normal. Rasterize, put this above it and set it to overlay. Here I'm going to layer flatten image, copy, paste. Edit transform scale. This is like much smaller. This is like 512, which is fine. Is it? No, it's 1024. Cool. I was just a lot more zoomed in. Do something like this. Nope. Put that here. Save that out as that in alpha, fine, and linear. And we're done. So now everything has been done. This is done, we gotta f find it. Fences are done, that's done, that's done. 
this is the only one that needs to be done. Cool, which we already have a texture made for it. Awesome. Let's look at our folder. A lot less. These I'm not worrying about. One, two, three, four, because we couldn't find them. Uh, WH Boards Interior 01, no clue where that normal map goes to. Don't know for these. Four normal maps, don't know where they go. Have to do this one and this one. Those two are the ones that we've got to go and find in game. Um, WH Brick Steps underscore N, no clue where that goes. It might go here. No, it wouldn't go there. Because that's this thing here. Um, yeah, so unsure about that. That cat is so lazy. Cool. Uh, eagles look fine. What did you say? Hawks. Okay, yeah. Hawks look fine. They just look much better. Fences. Look like fences. I can see they're much lighter than my what I have my rust texture at before. And then there is the eagle head that we've just done, which looks fine also. I just need to maybe set that a little bit darker. Should I 2K this shit? I might have to 2K this shit. I'm going to be honest with you. Because that's a bit blurry for me. That's just not Skyland quality. From here it looks fine. You know, the, the 8 foot test. But it doesn't really pass the 3 foot test. Which is like here. The flower looks great. The fence looks very blurry. And I want it darker. They're too light. But that's not Skyland quality. So we're going to redo that to be uh, 2K. The eagle head is fine. Eagle head's good. The fancy fences are not good. Now the fancy fences are darker, but they're lighter here. But they're darker here. The fuck is up with that? That upsets me. And now let's go take a looky look at our windows as we fly like Superman. They could be pulled back just a touch more, but they look a lot fucking better. They look a shit ton better. And they look a spot better than they did for vanilla. Look at these shingles, man. Look at these freaking shingles. I almost got it lined up perfectly too with the cutouts. Like, it's about spot on for the cutouts. But yeah, real freaking shingles. Moss. Look at the detail. That's what the fences should look like. Um, probably not. I don't think I'll ever do a green tundra. I've done a greener tundra. Um, I'll show you. And then I'm going to take a fiver so I can get my tea refilled and I can use the bathroom. I see you eye-cutting me, Grit. 
so one of the texture updates that are coming out is um, new oh it's so much nicer to get out of the fucking snow this is so much nicer I feel like I've not been in here forever so just to show you I have redone the textures in Whiterun and they are a bit greener um, whereas before everything was orange I have updated textures to be a bit blend of green and orange so there's still some like uh, the tundra rocks is still oh, I got the fucking stupid parallax turned on okay anyway you can see it basically so this is the new tundra and it is greener but not green and there's still some dead grass mixed in with it right so this is the way the tundra looks now yes you can see a little bit of step and repeat that's going to be impossible on these wide fucking open spaces so eat it so it's it's more like wild field looking instead of all dead grass looking because i couldn't get a i mean with all the floor mods it didn't look like a tundra anyway and so i I, instead of just doing a straight tundra ground looking texture if people are just going to make it look like a wheat field anyway I just decided to go this route which is like a grass moss mix and this is more tundra-y um, and then when you throw the grass in this is what you get and I am using Tamrielic grass, the middle Tamrielic grass texture. So it's not green and it's not dead. It's it's faded, sunburnt, whatever it wants to call it. And this is how it looks, and I think it looks perfectly fine, even with the dead um, the dead grass areas. It still mixes with the green really well. So this is how my white run looks, and around the stones, it's dead grass. And then where the grass is, it turns more green. Makes sense. And then on top of the plateau thingies, it looks like this. Yeah. Um, I think it will. This this setup will suffice for um, dead grass people, tundra people, green grass people not so green grass people this should work for everyone so I'm very happy with how this came out and I think it's a good compromise yeah I know I fucking hate the terrain parallax and like some of the EMBs like I've been testing different EMBs and some of them just have it on by default and I'm just like Christ all Friday why did you do this so let's go fix that right now Skyrim Edition E N B E M B series control F find parallax look enable train parallax faults find next enable parallax for the water I want that but you see I had it set to false did I have did I spell false wrong or something let me see surely not No, that's right. Enable terrain parallax equals false. So let's see. Yeah, I have no clue. Let me do train parallax fix SE on. That should do it, right? Yeah, that should do it. Oops. Oh, fuck, yeah. You're right. Thank you.
Boom, boom. That's what it was. Thank you, honey bunny. Let's let's try that again. All right, grit. And while we do this, we're gonna sit here and play guitar while we wait for this to load. Two, guitar has been played. I love the Stratocaster. It is a sexy, sexy instrument. It's just something about it. It's like curved perfectly. I don't know. I've always been attracted to it, even when I was a kid. I was like, God, that's a sexy guitar. And then I saw Hendrix play one, and I was like, yeah, gotta have it. Fixed. Yay. So now we can look at it and not have our eyes messed up. Face literally in the grass. Not bad. And then more of a tundra-y looking grass. So yeah. And then... Dirt O2. We redid our snow grass. Which looks very good. The normal map alpha needs to be brought down just a hair. It's a little too shiny. But it is snow. But it's too shiny. New rocks O1. New rocks O1. And then we have... I want to say we have a um, a Snow Rocks 01 that we redid also. All of us. We all we all redid it together. Ah, here it is. Doesn't look like it's blended in too well, but those are the Snow Rocks 01. I don't know why they used it there, but they did. And, yeah, textures out the wazoo. A lot of a lot of details happening here, and then when we put, turn on the grass, it just makes it that much better. Just a shit ton of detail. I mean, when you're this close, you're gonna see a little bit of blurring, but what the? Go away. Christ. Anyway. So yeah. A lot of details. And that's kind of what I was saying. You know, you stack your details. So you're you're putting in like these small little details, big details and medium details, so at each distance you see something. Like you can't see all the details here, but then when you get up close, you start seeing little granulars and stuff. Here, not so much, but then when you get close, you can start picking things out. So it looks great at any any distance, and that's really what I like to focus on. Here's our stone oh, or snow stones oh one or snow rocks oh one here. Again, alphas don't allow blending, so you will have those hard lines, and there's nothing I can do about that. Also, to let you know, I do not place the textures in the landscape. A lot of people think that I'm play I'm literally painting the landscape with new textures. I didn't paint anything. This was done by procedurally by the engine and I mean I think that that's 
I'm sure some artists came in and like touched up some areas, but I just replaced the textures. I do not, I did not go to every single place in Skyrim and like slowly paint this stone texture around this bank right here. I did not do that. I just replaced the, the stones texture and that's how it came out. Just much like what we're doing with, with Windhelm. I didn't, you know, I'm not hand painting meshes over here. I can, and I have done that. I did that with the high Hrothgar doors. But I didn't paint these landscapes. I just replaced the textures. But anyway, this is what it looks like. This will be coming out with the big update. All new um, Tundra textures. We also have Pine Forest textures that have all been redone. And new dirt cliffs. I think the new dirt cliffs is actually in the last update for the new dirt cliffs. But I could be completely wrong. But yeah, I like the new dirt cliffs a lot. I'm very happy with those. And of course, Granite Mountains now come standard with Skyland. Because the other mountains sucked. But I'm keeping them in there as options for PC people. So if you're a PC player, you, you're still in luck. But I think these colors look a lot better at distances. They look better everywhere. And so we're good there. All right. So I'm going to take a fiver, and we're going to come back and finish up. We're going to finish up the, the fences. And we're going to see what the crap's going on. We're going to try and get the... Um, them to match the um, other texture the other metal texture so I have to redo it that looks so good I like the wood text the new farmhouse wood textures I had parallax for these I have a parallax bundle for these but I'm not it doesn't really do too much I'm going to be honest with you it's not like oh my god parallax parallax is subtle you know, and for me, it eats up too much frames, and it's just too much fucking work to get it going. I'm I'm perfectly fine not having parallax. A lot of people are like, I got parallax. Yeah, and and it, I don't, yeah. I would rather have a good normal map and a good texture over having parallax trying to fix it. Sometimes I can really tell a difference. Other times I really just can't tell a difference. With my textures, I really can't tell a difference. Um, and it's not because I'm doing it wrong, but it's simply that a lot of my textures don't have a lot of huge big gouges out of thing and big bulging bricks coming out of stuff. It's not like that. Like, if you look at this texture here, right? If this was real world, a lot of that stone is kind of flat. You know, there's not a lot of big divots and stuff in it. So the parallax is kind of, like, not really needed. New here, proud to say that after four years with Noble Skyrim, I decided to switch to Skyline because it's still being updated. And it's a different look. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Glad to have you on the Skyland uh, train. Um, I will say, I was a Noble user for a super-duper long time. And... Um... I actually built Skyland to stack on top of Noble. Like, install Noble, then put Skyland over it. And as I've expanded Skyland, I've needed Noble less and less. But I still use Noble for clutter. We don't let deer die. Run. Run to freedom. So. It's a little something. Little little something for you. A little knowledge. Damn, this looks really fucking good. I don't know if it's the EMB or what, but I mean, the mountains look great. There's just something about that. Almost kind of looks next gen. That shade of green, though, I'm in love with. For all of for all of this stuff. Oops. Oh, we gonna die? I haven't put yellow flowers in it. 
I thought y'all would like the yellow flowers. I know the vanilla game was white flowers, but... Artistic, creative decision. Okay? I think I've done enough streams that if you disagree with anything that I do, or you don't like anything that I've done, or you want something changed, you should have enough information for my streams to go and create your own textures at this point. So do not come to me and whine that you do not like something. You are free to go make a texture. Okay. Cool screenshot. I'll be right back in just a moment. Y'all chill out. Um, go take a break yourselves, get a drink, and we're going to finish up these textures.
Hello, I'm back. Mario, or did you leave me? Or are you just saying see you for the break? I got a joke. In fact, even my girlfriend was just like, oh, I've got to call everybody and tell everybody this joke. I didn't think it was that funny, but she did. What kind of music do fish listen to? Something catchy. I'm so sorry. I'm not using that. I want curves. Something like this, and then we can do levels. Just to bring some of that pop and sharpness back. Like that. Let's do that. The eagle head was perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. What? Let's get his bed made up. You can watch. Gotta get his bed. Move my teapot. Get his blankie. Put it on my desk next to my keyboard. And now... Papa, one on your bed. You want to get on your bed? Come on. Come on, get on your bed. You want to stay up there? Okay. He'll get down in a second. He'll get down in a second. He'll want to go to sleep. Okay, so Windows decal. This is fine. That's fine. That's fine. In fact, we know that that's pretty good. This one here is the one I want to take care of. And I need to find the texture that I used for it. Not that. I'm going to check these out real quick. Nope. Nope. Where is... my stone texture that I did? Let's 
just the rough one. These are all just the rough ones, I think. Yeah. I'm looking for my stone blocks. That's the interior street stone here. Might keep that open. Not what I'm looking for. Hmm. A lot of cool textures. This is the one I'm thinking of using for this guy. Something like this. So I'm going to take that and paste that here and save. Um, no. Let's see. Image, image size. Yeah, that's correct. Save. Yep. Yep. Color. Fine and linear. And then this is going to be this guy. I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So this is the only other one that we have to do is this guy. Yeah. Which I don't even know what he does. This eagle we're going to take a look at again just to ensure. This one I was pretty sure that we're cool with that. The fences. We need to double last final check that. And these here. Needs to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And we're going to do a select color range for the white. And we're going to do a select inverse and do a black paint on that. Nah, that's a little too much. Let's do delete. I'm sorry. Let's delete that selection. Select color range here. And I'm going to do my fuzzy all the way out. Select inverse. F5. Like that. Select inverse. And we're going to do a modify contract of like 2. Select inverse. Shift F5. And now we're going to do a Gaussian blur on that. And hopefully... That will fix this. Hopefully that'll fix the street stones. So let's check that out. We hope. Y'all like the damn cat. He's so nice to me, and he just wants attention, and he meows, and he stretches out, and he wants his stomach scratched. But if anybody comes over, he is just an ass, and he will bite and scratch them. He does not like people, and he does not like loud people. He freaking hates loud people. Let me text this back. Here we go. Cool. <laughs> All 
All right, so um, COC. Actually, let's just go to the map. Palace of the Kings. Cool. Well, we got rid of a lot of the white on this. There you go, into your bed. Sorry. Yes, I love you. Such a cute boy. Let me get the phone out of the way for you. You need more? You want more headbutts? Okay. I'll go lay down. Good grit. It's a lot better. It's a shit ton better. Oh, fences. Uh, where am I? Oh, wrong alley. Ooh, a Diagon Alley would be a very cool mod if anybody ever wanted to make it. Oh, we forgot to make these 2K. But the shading is correct. The color is right. I think we can just go up to 2K, though, on him. We should be a lot better. But the, the, the shading is perfect. I'm good with that. Okay, cool. Cool, and changing it to 2K is not gonna be a problem. Hello, Lord Wishin. You got me wishing and hoping and wishing and praying. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of freaking work. I've had a lot of help from the chat. I'm going to be honest with you. They have helped me immensely. And now let's see those windows. Still have a touch. I think what I might do is just put a stone underlayer on that and call it a day. Because I'm fine with how that looks. We have a little bit of the um, uh, mesh cut off right there, but that's fine. You're not going to see that from a distance. On the normal map, I need to make it black on the normal map on the inside. Everything else looks fine. Um, I don't know what that stone was for. Was it for this thing here? No, it wasn't. I don't know what this texture is. Oh, yeah, I do. Never, never mind. It's another trim piece. Cool. But, yeah, I like not having that white halo around the stone anymore. Just little flecks of snow. I would like to know what stone this is. If anybody can find out what stone that is, let me know so I can get that fixed. Divine, if you're in here, Divine for Aurora, you seem to know these things. So whatever stone texture is for these braziers. I don't know if that's a part of the dungeon mod, which should have been covered when I did Nordic Ruins. 
<clears throat> so I'm unsure what texture those braziers are pulling that stone texture from. In fact, that might be doing it from my fire, my embers, XD mod. But I'm unsure. But I'd be interested in knowing what stone texture that is right there for these braziers. So I can get that taken care of. I can't have like something sticking out like a sore thumb like that. That's just not going to fly for me. <clears throat> okay. So. Let's 2k up those fences. I'm good with this. Um, yeah, here. So let's take this. And just paste that in here. Ooh. Oh, I'll show you a trick. Put something in the corner. And then you can line it up with the corner. <laughs> there you go. And then what is our colors here? Was it like 128, 128, 255? Yeah. There you go. That should do that. That should be that should be done there. I think for this real quick. I'm just gonna take this, make it a little bit bigger, go with black. A little bit bigger. And just kind of paint around here real quick. Get rid of some of these white marks in case they want to hold snow. Should take care of that. Let's see through here. save that out color and alpha and then here I was thinking of is where is interesting so that's literally a part of the texture that is interesting so in that case I'll just do more extreme measures here mm. I was hoping I could avoid this issue nah like it okay now this one is going to be the trikey one because I need to get these stones here. Let's do something like this, like that. Oh, well. 
I really don't want that. I want this. And then select inverse. And give me something like this. Not that dark. Like that. Alright. Let's see if this will work. I don't know if, Mega, if, if Mixer can do half size textures. But we're going to see if it does. So let's get rid of this and let's do a load up of this guy. Let's go to 3D. Okay, seems like it will be okay. That's okay. Good. Okay, and then let's look at Photoshop here. Let's bump this to two. Hmm. Not quite what I'm looking for. Let's try this guy. Actually, let's not make this at 20, shall we? Let's do like 10. Warp. There we go. Even that is kind of splitting the stones at the bottom there. It's doing it there too. And I kind of wanted to avoid doing that. So let's do. Put this back here. And let me get this set correctly. Okay, that's good. And now. I'm going to do a paint mask on this, set to 2D. Let's put a paint mask here and load up our thingamajigger here like this. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to come through here. These brush sizes are ridiculous. Okay. going on and why is it oh sorry this is what I wanted why isn't this working let's raise this up just a touch it's about here I might use a smooth brush just work my way up to the edge Like so. Might be a little too much. Let's do it again. Something like that. Should work. Okay. And now I'm going to duplicate that. Clear the layer mask. And this time we're going to do it up here. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. And then up here it really doesn't matter because we're chopping that all off anyway. So I'm going to get close to the edge but not all the way. Cool. 
Now, this guy I can reposition. If it will let me, thank you. I want to do something like that. Let me see. It's got that one row like that. Cool. So, this I can turn off. Go back to my 3D view here. Nice, nice, nice. This I'm going to delete the layer mask. And just kind of just throw in some stuff like this. Same thing here. Just kind of whore it up a little bit. Like so. Cool. And then I'm going to put this into a folder. Let's call it lower. And then I'm going to duplicate that and rename this to upper and I'm going to copy oh I can't copy the layer mask let's put a layer mask on this real quick I'm going to just raise this up there's like right here and now I'm gonna put a paint layer on this and just delete it from here. Cool. And now I can adjust all of these to be what I want them to be. Just like that. Nice. This I'm going to pull back just a touch. Nice. Okay. So, what this is called is Big Blocks O2. Go to my backup Skyrim test WH big blocks O2. And this is the tricky part here. Hmm. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's select both of these, edit, transform, and scale. I need them to be at 2048 by 2048. Jeez. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's do this one at a time. I'm just going to do this by hand. 20, 40, oh. 20, 48. Boom. And then the other one, the Albedo, I'm going to do the same thing. It should be at 20. Uh, let's redo that again. I hate these little half textures. They suck. Come on. You don't have to think so hard. Twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight right there. Boom. Rasterize multiply 
and then this I think I'm going to just touch it up just a hair this guy here with the levels just needs to be brought down just a touch let's do that and that and rasterize layer filter sharpen unsharpen map this guy nothing there let's save that out color fine and linear and then here image size let's do 2048 let's do that let's 2k that bad boy put this here and then I'm going to do transform and scale again I'm just going to say 2048 by 2048 that's right let's zoom in there there we go and then we can rasterize invert and that I'm gonna call a day let's see let's get this guy in here join the party let's put an alpha map on that copy save it out Color alpha fine and linear and done and I don't need to check it because I know that that's good this we're happy with don't need to save that maybe I will just because it says do you want to save this maybe I didn't save it this is fine this we're gonna 2k this was fine no. That is this is good. That might need work. This needs to be 2K'd the shit out of. So we're going to do image size. It is 2K. It just looks like poop. So that's about as good as it's gonna fucking get then. Okay, so forget about it. So this is like the only one that's kind of like, hey. Now, hey Grit, he's just wallowing in his bed and he's trying to get my attention. Hi Bubba, I love you, you're cute. Arr. What an ass. So let's take a look in here. We're knocking them out. The tricky ones. These are the tricky ones. Okay. These are going to be the tricky ones. Or maybe they're not going to be the tricky ones. Maybe they're not going to be tricky. There's this. Okay, there's that. Does that not get one? So this WH Bricks 1B. What is going on with that? There's no normal for it for this? It does not look like this has a normal. And that confuses me and scares me.
It confuses and scares me. So this seems pretty fucking straightforward. And I didn't think it was going to be straightforward, but it seems like it's pretty straightforward. Like, really straightforward. But this one... Why doesn't this WH Brick 1B have a normal map? Where is this even located at? Time for a spray paint job. Bop, bop, bop. Oops. Blop, 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 Okay. Spray paint job done. No alpha map. Color, fine and linear. Done. Okay. So, we're going to see where that is in game. Um, this should be fine. These should be easy. Like, that's... These are super easy to do. So, I guess I will knock these out tonight. Which should be awesome at that point. Because then, I just have to worry about the doors. And figuring out where the crap these other textures go. This one, also. It was a part of the wood. It's W... H wood base details so we're gonna see if we can find that see if I only put it in the upper right hand corner sometimes the mesh doesn't show that part of the texture so I just put it fucking all over or else the, some meshes will use just a portion of the texture but not the other portion of the texture so that's why I kind of um, do it all over uh, <laughs> let me see what else this one is the weird one. Did I not open this up? I thought I did. Bless you. Yeah, this one here. So it's got these dark arches, these shadows. Basically, they baked in some shadows here, and I've got to get that going. Which is, obviously, they just took a, a, a soft brush and just went... <laughs> Hey, Grit. Can I have my hand back? Can I have my hand back? Don't put your paw on my hand. I need my hand back so I can play the game. You're such a little slut. Alright, so we're looking for bright purple. Bright purple. You should be able to see this from a fucking mile away. Just the way it'll interact with the normal map, it'll just make it glossy and shiny, and you'll see it instantly if it's around. Could be a part of, like, the throne... Or something like that. But I'm unsure. No bright purple. Let's go let's go inside and see. And here it'll just look like a neon fucking light. No neon lights.
I wonder what patches I need to make these walls come back. Can I jump over that? Thank you. Nothing down here. Nothing in the kitchens. Oh! Let's check the jail. Yeah. But with it being dark, it'll also be super duper easy. Because it'll stand out. Let me see if I can... Nope. Turning off the EMB does not help. Okay, so these textures haven't even been touched. But... No purple. Hmm. No purple. Has anybody seen a dragon carving into a wall anywhere in Windhelm before? I've never even noticed it. Let me double check these again. Yeah, I'm fine with those. They're fine. All of this shit's fine. Fuck it. It's Windhelm. Nobody likes Windhelm. Yeah, I'm going to check outside the city. place I'm going to look real quick. Yeah, Temple of Talos is a good call. But when I check Temple of Talos, it all seemed to be pretty much covered already like I didn't see any vanilla textures last time I was in there it seemed like it was pretty much done there are these bases again maybe it's part of the Nordic ruins but I could have swore I hit all the Nordic ruin textures up I'll take that I mean, as you can see, the Nordic Ruins have been done. But that stone bothers me. Okay, so nothing in here. This looks amazing. That dark head... Mm, I'm gonna have to change those. I'm that's just it's just bothering me. Okay. I know I know Daniel Autry likes them, but I'm just like Grr. Let's check out the Temple of Talos real quick. Here 
Everything in here has been done from what I'm seeing. Along the docks, there's all those doors. Are those just all houses, all people's houses? If so, I'd imagine they're all just going to be pretty much identical. I wish there was a program that would like just tell you where all the textures are located. Like what meshes use what textures. Type in a texture name, tells you the meshes that use it. Okay, that's a good tip. Hey, Bubba. Where are those located at? Yeah, see, that's just somebody's house. That's the warehouse. Definitely not going to be in there. Damn, these textures look really good. <laughs> Is there a shrine of Akatosh and Windhelm? Which house? Hey, Baba. the warehouse again. It's another warehouse. Okay. Same warehouse cell as the other warehouses. Ah. 
another warehouse cell. Same as the other warehouses, just with clutter. Very cool. Very cool looking textures, though. That wood. Damn. Checked in there a thousand times. There's nothing in there. Check the corner club again. I don't think there was any. I think this was completely done. Oh, yeah, this place. It was completely done last time we were in here. There's no, like, weird secret hidden places in Windhelm. Like, you can only get into, like, if you do some weird man, like, weird mission or something. Right. Boy, these people get some big ass houses for being poor. Also, love how the exterior is stone, but the interior is wood. That's funny to me. Complete wooden, like it's a ship. Outside, it's all stone. Funny. I have a feeling that this will look very much the same. Very much the same, but stone walls this time. That's good. I haven't found jack shit yet. Um, potion shop. Let's see if I can find a potion shop. This is a pawn shop. Oh, potion shop is over in the thingamajigger. That looks cool. Yep. Nothing. That would be another one that we just leave purple zigzagged and hope somebody finds it. Because I have no clue where it is. 
I think maybe JK might have added that room. House of Curiosities. Well, I'm curious where the textures are. You know, House of Curiosities have a basement, right? No? Okay. Not really that exciting. Oh, well, there you go. Shows you how much I know about Windhelm, which is nothing. Complete wood house. So not much going on in here. Okay, we'll just keep it purple for right now. No stone. Let's go check the um the inn, tavern inn. Cute buddy. You think the end might have like a cool dragon mural? Nothing. Nothing in the kitchen. Let's head up the doobie doo stairs. Nope. Everything looks really fucking amazing up here. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm as confused as all of you. I did check the fancy houses on the other end, and they are all done. They're all pretty much wood with the stone wall basements. But we shall check them. Ooh, let's check in here, too. Who knows what a blacksmith has? Oh, get out of here, he says. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Nothing in the stupid graveyard. Fancy House District. Numero Uno. Standard stone wall. Same stone, uh, same wood walls. No floor and ceilings. Upstairs, all wood. He wants me to leave. And nothing missing. Just doing a. Just doing a fire alarm check, checking your fire extinguishers, making everything sure is good. Okay, bye. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly right, Huffy. Viola sounds like she's got some textures.
Really pretty lighting. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going to release a preview build of Windhelm on my Discord. And whoever has a PC can download it and run around Windhelm and just play your game as you normally would. We've already checked in there. Um, and... If you find the textures, great. And we'll see what happens. So yeah, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna upload a preview build of this where people can just kind of run around and test it out. How's that sound? Or maybe better yet, for security reasons, because I really don't need people fucking posting pictures of this and making videos of it yet, to be honest with you. Maybe I will just release it to some volunteers. If anybody wants to volunteer, I'll put it up in a secure area and give people a link if that's cool. I think that's what I'm going to do instead. And then I don't have to worry about it. So we have five or six neon textures, <clears throat> and we've not seen any of them anywhere. And we've checked the interior of pretty much everything. Um, so at this point, I'm going to take a look at a couple of different places real quick around the map. God forbid you just put me there. So this is using... Well, that statue should have been redone with my statue mod, but nope. But the base is done with Nordic Ruins. I love my Skyland tents. Don't touch my Skyland tents. God, they look good in the snow. I've not seen them in the snow before. That looks alright. That's okay. Huh. Look at that. I've never seen it in the snow. That took forever to 3D model that. And I even 3D modeled the freaking interior beams. I was going to put rope around them and I was like, we're done. I'm done with this. We're freaking done. <laughs> Screw it. Okay. It's not that and it's not a lot. Okay. Um, so the other place I was going to check. Well, hello, Archangel. Hello, hello, hello. I'm beginning to think they're not used either, but the last thing I want is some mouth breather to just be like, hey... You fucked up. Look at this. You're so horrible of a person. You should jump off a bridge and fucking die. You've made my game literally <laughs> unplayable. And FYI, I have had comments like that before. I'm just like, you're a chode. Listen, do me a favor. Can you tell me what color of walls are in your mom's basement? You're working later, you're working early, Archangel. Okay, so it's nothing around here. Fucking thief.
and kill. So yeah, no clue where these textures are. Man, I loved working in a kitchen. There's a certain unity and team building and level of anger that can only be achieved by working in a kitchen. You just become so bitter and jaded working in kitchens and you just learn to hate humanity. It's beautiful. My disdain and hate of people came from working in a kitchen. And I don't regret it one iota. Not one freaking bit. I really thought that that was going to fix that problem. Why didn't it paint it black? There. Oh, did I not turn it back on? Son of a bitch. Now it just looks like they're bricked up fucking windows. Christ. These windows are going to be the death of me. Alright, so yeah. We have no clue where those go. Oh man, fine dining is the way to go, man. Fine dining. If you can find yourself a black diamond place to get a job at, even if it's just like a working cold side at... at you know, a black diamond resort. You're you're in. But corporate can be a headache, like if it's like it depends. Like if it's like chain like like chilies or applebees or something, it's it's stupid because they're set up to just like hire, you know, anybody off the street. And that's just not fun. Nobody wants to be in a kitchen with people like that. But if you can get in with something like, you know, resort, that's kind of where it's at. Nineteen an hour is really good. I would prefer to just work in somebody else's kitchen. I was, I did sous chef for a while and it was just, it was a headache. It was a headache. Um, and, you know, I could, you, I would rather work under a chef, but not like directly under the chef. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't mind just doing prep work and all of that stuff to be completely honest with you I got tired of having to deal with like th the owners and the distributors and having to cover people's fucking shifts and then deal with like Stupid fucking wait staff that are just morons. I don't know. So, yeah. I just... Fine dining. And I prefer... I like French food the best to cook. I like French. Um, I can do, like, American food, too. and I mean, those are all fine. You know, American food's fine. It's not my favorite. Um, fusion is okay. Depends. But it's also not my favorite. I'm a purist at heart. And so that's why I like the... Um, the French cooking. And I think the techniques are really cool. Some of the French dishes I'm kind of not a fan of. Just for, like, humanitarian reasons. But... Um, 
but the techniques are really fun to work with. So WH brick 1B, bye. That I can chop out. Let's actually take this guy, pop it here, and I'm going to do one of these numbers. Just for fun. And we're going to block this out. And use this as a height map here. Cruise ship would be fun. I'd be afraid of getting sick. But the the reason that like hotels and resorts and cruise ships are so good to get in with is that you learn how to cook in like massive bulk. You learn how to order in bulk, budget, portion. You learn so many freaking valuable skills that you can really take anywhere when working in hotels, resorts, casinos, um, cruise ships, etc. And it's a rare um, talent or rare experience that not a lot of <clears throat> kitchen staff have. A lot of them have worked at like indie restaurants or like, you know, 20 top, 50 top places. Some just have that corporate experience, but it's not like high-end corporate, like um, Capital Grill or, or something like that. It's going to be more like the corporate, like the Applebee's and the Outbacks and stuff. Um, so having that skill of being able to cook or pref be a part of a kitchen staff in a resort, you can take those skills anywhere in the world. Simple as that. Simple as that. You can go to Vegas and next thing you know, you can get a job pretty much at any casino. And that's a big deal. Um, I even know, you know, chefs that have, have had that experience working at large resorts and the, the, the things that you learn, such as like, you have to learn a bunch of different dishes. You can't just cook just French food or just American food. You have to kind of know all of it because you got to keep the menus really fresh every night, something different. Or you have a buffet, which you have to be able to do sushi next to fucking, you know, ratatouille and stuff. Um, and again, you have to be able to anticipate crowds, read crowds, know what your YTDs are, um, know what your budget is, how much each dish is going to be, etc. And because of that, I've known personal friends that have gone on and ran a kitchen for the Super Bowl, you know. They were one of the chefs. They weren't the lead chef, but they were one of the chefs that were assigned one of the kitchens for the Super Bowl because they had that experience of working in hotels. So it's kind of stuff like that that, you know, you wouldn't expect... You know, they'd be like, oh, we'll just get, like, some famous chef. And it's like, man, even I know famous chefs that don't have experience doing the bulk thing. They can guesstimate it and try it, but they're not going to be, like, as good as, you know, the head chef of Marriott International. Um, 
but cooking is one of those things it's, it's a job you can't export you know what I mean it's it's a pretty safe job and it's always going to be in demand And it pays sick. Especially if you can be the the corporate chef. If you can be the head honcho. But then again, everything's on you. You're going to be working 18-hour days for the rest of your life. Simple as that. Yeah, Bubba. Can you say simple as that, Crit? That's right, Grit. Simple as that. Let's do a color overlay here for white. Cool. Oh, we forgot one. And that should actually be black. All right. And we'll give that a drop shadow also. Boom. Nice. Hey, Baba. You know, like, um, bartending is cool. It is. It's different it's hard um yelling at the servers is my favorite thing same here tried to be a perfectionist when it comes to plating dish man that is my weak point my weak point is plating i suck at plating like i have seen some people just take random things and just create artwork on a plate and you're just like how did you make fried chicken look like that and then me, I'm just like, here you go, meat and three. <laughs> That's how I feel like my dishes look. I'm just like, there you go. I feel so bad. But, yeah, plating, and I don't know how to learn plating. That's the other thing, too. It's not like there's, like, lots of instruction manuals out there for that. Hey, I see you. Thank you. Hi. All right, we're going to get these three done and be done with it. Grit. Grit, get in your bed. I can't see the screen, Bubba. Thank you. Just knock everything over. It's cool. I swear to God, sometimes. That looks good. And this is called... I have no clue. Um, WHNLOW01. Nice. Well, 
Well, Windhelm is coming along nicely. We only have a handful of textures to finish up, and we're going to be done. I think I'm going to end the stream after I get these textures knocked out, but then we're going to come back and do the doors for the next stream and take a look at it and adjust any textures that need to be adjusted, make sure that we didn't miss any textures, and then Windhelm's going to be done. So I'm thinking next stream might be the last stream. Yay. And this is called uh, WHN Top 01. He's just staring at me. Do you see him in the bottom right of the screen? He's just staring at me. Just staring. That looks like some destroyed motherfucking stone. I like that. That's cool. Hope it works out okay. It should. Okay. And then this is called... Uh... WH Brick Decal 1. Brick Decal 1. Okay, here we go. So, in top one, WH in top one. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. Rasterize, multiply. Pull this back just a hair. and rasterize and let's sharpen that up a little bit this I'm going to turn off because I need to do that thing two hundred okay so I'm going to do something a little darker that cool cool boom save that and then I'm going to actually convert and rasterize no no I'm not going to I'm gonna do just this guy and image, image size, sorry. Image, image size, 2048, boom. Control-Shift-U to desaturate, Control-Shift-U, hello. Oh, it made a group. Don't want a group. Control-Shift-U, oh, boom, boom, boom. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boom, boom. And then my normal, wrong folder. Here we go. There it is. Rasterize and invert it. Like that. And save that out. 
with an alpha map fine and linear. And those are good. I can close that out. <clears throat> I'll do that one last. This one, this should be low since the other one was top. Boom, boom. Rasterize. This, this. Let's get these correct. Pull it back just a touch and multiply. Convert smart object and rasterize. Now, is there anything in here that I need to worry about? Yep. So I will go ahead and do this and this. Set that to multiply. And then I'm going to pull it back just a hair. Save that. Fine and linear. Copy that. Come into here. Image size 2048. Control Shift U, levels, pull it back, throw that in the alpha, and then this guy, again, wrong folder, boom, 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 rasterize and invert, like so, and save that out with the alpha map, fine and linear, and those are done. This guy is going to be a little bit different. This is WH Brick Detail Decal 01. WH Brick Decal 01. Here we go. So let's go ahead and um, rasterize the layers. Let's check the levels. Let's bring this up. This is a touchdown and multiply. I'm going to just pull this back just a touch. And here, I'm going to look at this real quick and do a select. Let's actually do this as an as a. Let's take a look here. I think I'm going to stick with that one for right now. Yeah. And I'm going to do this and put black on that and convert and rasterize. Copy. Put that here. And then we're going to save this out with an alpha. I'm going to convert that to a smart object and rasterize it. And then in here, image, image size 2048. Back, back. Cool. Make sure it's lined up. Desaturate levels. Copy and paste. And then I'm going to use this into here. Rasterize and flip the green channel. There we go. And I'll save that with an alpha map. So now those are all done. Which is what we wanted. Again, I'm going to... Let's see. We need this turned on. Okay. And this guy... Let's do select invert F5. F5. I'm going to, <clears throat> I need to paint this white. Nope, not that big. Do this. And save this with an alpha. There we go. Didn't feel like I saved it right. Okay. Let's jump into it. If this works out, we should be all done done. 
Dunsey's grit. And all we really need to do are just these textures. This one, we have one, two, three. We have four textures, six, including the two in the dungeon that we didn't do. Six to do left. So that's a stream, that's an easy stream. I mean, we just knocked out, you know, 12 textures. And then I need to finish up the donor wall, which I should be able to knock out pretty quick. So I hope on the next stream, everybody joins us since it'll be the last Windhelm stream. It should be a party. We should have a we should have a Windhelm is done party. All the cities for Skyland will be done at that point. So here's that texture now redone. And it looks perfectly fine. Yep. Works for me. I have no clue where end top and end low is. End top and end low 01. No freaking clue. No freaking clue. Don't even know what it's referring to. So, I'll I'll say that they're fine. <laughs> because I I don't I don't freaking know. Check this window. Perfectly fine. Yep. Looks like a window to me. Looks like a window to me. Yes, they do. They look like windows to me. You can't even see them from the street. I don't know why they're up there. It's such a waste. There's nowhere in. Oh wait, you can kind of see it from here. You can kind of see a window way over there. Um, you can kind of see it from here. Um, where else can you freaking get to? Get to here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the window from here. <laughs> so yeah. From this distance, that window looks fine. Wow, I can see right through that mesh right there. That's, look at this. Look at this. Here I am from street level. You just see right through here. The fuck? Why? Why is it this bad? Why the fuck is it this bad? I have no clue anymore. I just, I've, I've stopped trying to figure out Windhelm. I've just stopped trying to figure it out. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's not even funny at this point. It's just bad. It's just... One of the most slapdash, thrown together cities ever. And it's horrible. The mapping, the meshes. The, I mean, what the, what the fuck? Wh what is this? What is this? Why is it that way? I mean, look at how poorly this building is, is modeled. Like who who does this? Who just who just makes like a, a a one two three four five one two three four five six seven poly mesh eight and it's like that's a building. Like Google Maps has better looking buildings than this. Nothing is supposed to ever come to such a sharp point. Ever. That's not good. And there's ivy there. Uh-oh. 
There's ivy on this wall. We need to get rid of it. We'll get rid of it. So I just don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't. I can't. I can't even. This is the reason why I never did Windhelm, is I did not want to have to put up with this. There's nothing I can do to make... Like, I can put textures on it, but in the end, there's nothing I can do to help. It's, it's going to be is what it is at this point. I just want everybody to kind of understand this, is that it is what it is. Is this end one and end two low? I think it is. Looks fine. I think that wall is the end, the enders. I believe it is. Yeah, because here's the circles on the inside, I believe. <sighs> All right, Chad Licious. Chadlicious, I need you to say goodbye to the crowd. <sighs> You're such a fine, sexy beast. You look just like me. Not at quite as good as me, but you're close. You're close to looking as good as me. Sorry, Chad. Say save. We'll be back. So, that's, that's going to be all she wrote for tonight. These are all done in my book. I don't know what else I can do. The, the, the other textures we can't even find anywhere. I just know somebody's going to find them and yell bloody freaking murder when they do. But... We'll see. It's been emotional. Thank you all for hanging out. I really want everybody to join me on the next stream because it's going to be the last one for Windhelm. And then we move on to other bigger and greater things. Um, so thank you very much. It's been fun. I will see you all next time. I'll give you a one hour heads up of when I'm going to stream. And um, if you want uh, um, me to stream other times, let me know when a good time is for you in the Discord please. Uh, good night. Thank you. Good night, Divine. Good night, Mario. Thank you very much for joining us, Archangel. We want to do a special shout out to Lil Vixie for being the admin for these chats. She's been amazing. Huffy, good night. Uh, Wushin, everyone, just thank you. I'm just going up the chat list here. Stone Spire, thank you. Daniel Autry, thank you. Trinity, thank you. Demora, awesome. Yes, it's been awesome. Miss Toxic Love. Love ya. We'll see you all next time. Thanks. Bye, y'all.